There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Grover here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, this video is going to be shorter than usual. Um, my little lady, my little girl, Mia, is sitting over there in the corner. So I'm going to try to make this shorter, but I had to get this out. I'm going to do another deeper guide into Spectre. However, before we even... How about this? I'll go into this first. I took him 6010 immediately, or as soon as I could, um, and ran him in Heroic No Chapter 8... Uh, the last node, you know, you know how I usually do it. So chapter eight, last node in heroic um, with the typical with the typical um, allies, running mates, teammates, however you want to put it and wanted to test his damage. Number one, his damage is stupid, is sick. Um, and so you'll see here you have your 5k to 2k for kid flash as as per normal number two i love the animations and i did when they first came out now when specter first came out i think this might even be his second rework if i'm not mistaken but um this rework has basically made him a god like he is absolutely incredible um he does a ton of damage and his and his kit all of the legendary points bounce off of each other so you basically look like you need all of them i'm gonna take him l5 thursday i just got the gems from raid and i'm gonna take him out five thursday and the funny thing is um as he's just doing as he's just wrecking the funny thing is is dr zabaro said this and it was very true star girls rework is also incredible but it's gonna get lost because of how god tier specter is like he's she's not gonna be able to compete so she's just gonna get kind of lost in the shuffle but she's incredible specter's just on a whole nother level and some of the things in his kit, I didn't even realize how valuable they were until I actually started playing with them. So as you see here, he's doing solid damage, but he's also controlling the game. Like he's controlling how the battle's going. He's controlling what's happening, what's going to happen next, who gets to who gets to fight and who doesn't, um, just based on the stuns and how his um, his A2 works. So once we get done with this, uh, and it, him at 60, 10, I didn't ha have, uh, of course, that it couldn't max out the abilities, but I think I took the penultimate for the A1 and the A3, I think is how I went. Um, but in any case, I'm going to take him into, I'm going to take you into his kit right now when they go through the kit. So I'll be right back. Okay, I said I was going to take you into his kit, but first, I'm showing Huntress for a very specific reason. If you watched my video last week where it was talking about Huntress's new skin that's coming out, I was like, oh, great skin. I don't feel like paying 10 bucks for it. So what had happened was um, I literally, when Spectre came out, I spent 9,000 gems, all of my gems, for the, with the exception of like 500, on taking him 7011. 5,000 of that was in rings. Like, blue rings are insanely scarce. I wish they would do something else about it, but whatever. That Well, the reason why they're so scarce is because then I'll spend 5,000 gems on it and then have to do this. So then I was totally out of gems, and I needed gems so I could get those three rebirth crystals from the raid. So I was like, if I'm going to go ahead and get gems anyway, I might as well get the skin. It's made me use Huntress a lot more, just like um, with Blue Flash. When his skin came out, I just started using Flash a lot more under Lex. And... She's, she's completely underrated. She's incredible. So if you have Huntress or if you have Fractured Huntress, go ahead and develop her. She's worth it. But that's how I ended up with the skin. Her profile picture looks even better than the skin. Like it's, I love the skin. I absolutely love it. So I don't regret that. I was able to get my three rebirth crystals. So we're good there. And I was able to take Spectre 7011, which is incredible. So now all of his abilities are leveled up. I'm just waiting until Thursday so I can get enough purple essence so I can take this last legendary point because I absolutely want it. But on the A1, Ethereal Punch, special damage to an enemy. Ignore shields, which comes in handy way more than you would think against Azrael. Um, and gain two permanent int ups, which is, that just makes him PvE viable off the bat, just off the rip. Gain 20% turn meter up to self um, is the legendary point. Then fear projection, apply 20% turn meter down and stun, purge all buffs on target. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this is that the purge comes after the stun, so you won't stun them if they have debuff immunity. So I wish it would be in the other order, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. This ability is incredible against Harley Quinn, Barda, Azrael. Name one of those, Arcus, name one of those, no matter the affinity. 
name one of those like heavy buffing, heavy hitting tunes that are out there. And this ability is perfect for it. And it's one of the abilities that makes him is not, but he is like affinity neutral. So like, I don't care if I'm going up against Harley Quinn. I don't care if I'm going up against Barter. It doesn't matter. He's a mystic. They could take him out. They could, but what he's going to do is just neuter them completely. So it's, it, it, he, it makes him so, it makes him just about affinity neutral. Like as close as you can get to affinity neutral. Like his affinity, when I'm taking him into battles, don't really matter to me. I don't think about it. Um, on his A3, Divine Punishment. Special damage to all enemies and 75% chance to use Ethereal Punch. There goes those two two more of those permanent uh, in ups. Um, apply heal immunity to all ally, to all enemies. I would have preferred to take the A2, but I took the A1. Hindsight. I would have preferred to take the A2, but that heal immunity, since he's going to be part of the siege right now, is going to come in handy since White Lantern Sinestro is one of the tunes. I didn't even think about that until Dr. Zabarro and I talked about it last night. So, like, I didn't even realize how valuable that was that I took it. I took it because on this A2, on his this legendary point, apply an additional stun to an, a random enemy. I thought it was not a big deal. However, when you're using this ability and you stun two after killing one, it, it's, it's, it's really, 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 really helpful. Plus, it goes along with this passive, that ability to stun two randoms, because I don't know if it's this one or the next one. Yes, this one. Passive ability. When an, when a character dies, when any character dies, enemy or ally, 75% chance to use uh, for Spectre to gain four intelligence ups and 50% turn meter. Use fear projection on a random enemy. So he'll use fear projection on a random enemy. Then if you have this other legendary point, he'll end up stunning two instead of one. So you've already taken out one or maybe one of yours has been taken out. You're, you're stunning half the team. Stupid good. And, 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 the side note, you're removing their buffs. So if you're going up against Azrael team, and let's just say that someone on your side dies, it's very likely that he's going to go ahead and run this against Barda, remove her taunt and all of her wonderful buffs and stun her. And then he might take out Azrael, not take out, but he might also remove all the buffs from Azrael, making him not nearly as scary with, the, you know, 500 strength ups. Like it's really real, it, it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. And it works, it's even better in practice. Um, then passive ability. Oh, what did I go over? That? Yeah, I already went over that. So then passive ability on his P2A5. Um, at the beginning of every Spectre's turn, gain two permanent intelligence or permanent intelligence ups. So even he's getting four if he uses his A1 and purge two debuffs on him. Also gain awareness. Stupid good. So he's always getting awareness whenever he goes. Now here's the thing. I put in my Discord, uh, I asked the question in the debate topic, I need to go back and check. Is he OP? Is is all of this just too much? He's going to be a random encounter. I saw his message. A uh, couple of things. First thing off the bat, he was like, I'm gonna, I think random encounter made this or someone else might have, but it's like, you need to redo your top 10 mystics list. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you think? Uh, that was number one. Uh, number two was, He's already sick of seeing him. Like he already knows that this is gonna become, he's gonna be the new Black Flash. Like every, every he's going to be on every team just because of how incredible he is. So is he OP? In my opinion, not quite, because offensively he's incredible. However, defensively, you can deal with him relatively easily from an end game perspective. I have a lot of characters, a deep roster. Mid game, uh, early game, let me know what you think. Is he? Like, when you see him, are you just kind of like, oh, no, like a Black Flash or like an Azrael behind a bar or whatever? Are you just kind of like, damn it, I don't feel like doing this. Like, is he that bad? Because for me, if I run into him, I'm not really worried about him. I can take him out relatively easy. But using him, he's absolutely incredible. So anyway, I'm going to take him into PvP real quick, and then I'm going to call it a video. I have the sneaking suspicion, kind of like what I did with Ultraman. You're probably going to get another video of uh, Spectre somewhere down the road, like... I'm really, really enjoying playing with this character. So let's go ahead and take him in. Doesn't matter who, does not matter who. Uh, I'm actually looking for Azrael now to see if I can show something. Um, uh, this doesn't interest me too much. I want like a, a better battle to just take him in a couple times. I mean, I guess. Okay, we'll see, you'll see this a lot. Black Flash running next to Spectre. One thing that I have been doing, and maybe I can't do it because of the way this team is set up. Uh, okay, we'll do this. 
I bet, oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's go ahead and leave Huntress in there. Um, yeah, okay, let's run this. This is not really gonna be much of a challenge because Martian Manhunter, the big problem with Martian Manhunter is he gives the entire team awareness. When it comes to Azrael and Arcus, that's great for me because then I can use the A3 from Black Flash and reduce all their turn meters without having to worry about retaliation. One thing that you do wanna be on the lookout for is I do wanna take out Spectre really quickly because on the other side, if I take out anybody else first, he'll use his fear projection and sometimes stun my, <laughs> and sometimes he'll stun my um, Spectre. Now you notice there, there's Huntress cleaning up everything, cleaning up the meal, gotta love it. I'm gonna use Huntress a lot more. Um, in the coming days, but he already had removed awareness from Hawk Girl, making her vulnerable. I don't know why you spirit projection there. I'm too busy talking. Removing her awareness, already making her vulnerable, so we could just take her out. Already done. Already done. This is awesome. He's so cool. Oh, I love him. One thing that I do love now too is also running Black Flash, where he's kind of making. He's kind of slowing down the speed meta that you see where you have to have a Martian Manhunter, you have to have a Cheetah. I mean, you do have, you see Superman's and, and still Green Lantern, Hal Jordan's Red Hoods. But like, for example, I love running him with Red Hood. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run with Red Hood. Doom, 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 doom. That's one of the games that my daughter's playing. Is that the Hippo game suite? Oh! Oh, she's gotten she's she's gotten onto YouTube Kids, and so now she's watching that show. Okay, okay, I let it ride. I thought she was doing a puzzle, but um, yeah, kids, they're smarter than us. They really are. She fooled her mommy into giving her more ice cream because she was with daddy yesterday, right? And then when daddy took her back to mommy, mommy was like, oh, she was like, oh, mommy, I want ice cream. And her mom was like, did you have ice cream with daddy? And she was like, no. I gave her, what was it? Chocolate fudge brownie ice cream, right Mia? She's nodding, she's not talking. And I told her mom today when I got her and she was like, she told me she didn't have any. I was like, you can't trust her. You, you just you just trusted a, a five-year-old on ice cream. Well, four-year-old on ice cream, come on. So. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we also, this is a lot of, this is a lot going on right now. Give me, give me Olympia. So this video was supposed to be about something else, but now it's going to be about this. We also got this little bit, Olympia. Olympia is a Chihuahua American Terrier mix and likes to poop and pee in the house. Although she didn't have any accidents yesterday. She was good. 10 weeks old. She, I can't do anything with her because she likes to sleep on me. Apparently I'm warm. All right. So. Let's go into this as um, the family life and the household is starting to wake up a bit. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and take out Black Flash if we can. Nope, we can't. Not really worried about it. And that's the one plus out about having Red Hood in this situation. I don't really have to worry about Azrael ramping up if I'm able to take out the character. Um, I would have loved for that fear projection to go off now, but it is what it is. I'm still not worried about Azrael. Like, I just, he doesn't bother me. Maybe I'm being a little bit arrogant here, and I know he's gonna proc off of this. There goes Black Adam, he's gonna proc. See, you see you see Spectre right there, remove all those strength ups and stun him. So guess what I don't care about right now? Azrael, like, he is the problem solver. Random Encounter actually asked me to do, I had a series called Problem Solvers, and I got a message that he wants me to start doing that again. And I, I might, I might. Um, it's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of content that I need to put out that I just don't have the time for. And I love the suggestions. I love the requests. I really, really do. I just have to find the time in normal life to be able to do them. But another thing that I was thinking about doing is I did that versus of Lady Shiva and Artemis. And I was thinking like, I need to do a versus on Black Flash Inspector. I really want to see how that versus goes in my head. I'm all, I haven't really thought about it because I'm already dreading the thought of actually having to formulate what that is actually going to mean. So we'll see how that goes. But in any case, we'll do one more and then we'll call it a video. Uh, and then I have to go buy some groceries so I can cook lunch. So let's see here. Uh, okay, so I'm not really worried about Harley Quinn. I could probably put in, I don't care if they go first. 
Gotta stop this for a very quick note. There is a glitch in this matchup. I don't know where, how, or why, but even when I put in Martian Manhunter with Black Flash, Cassandra Cain still went first. So there was a glitch in here going against this team. No idea what the bug is, but there was a bug. So as you watch me get defeated over and over and over again, you know, not excuses, but I mean, come on, the game be cheating either. Or maybe I should, but I don't. Let's, let's, let's try something stupid and see how it goes. I do kind of want to taunt her in this situation though. Do I? And of course here comes the nail, man. But in any case, as you can see, my house is waking up at, well, it should have been already awake, but. All right, so. Uh, should I care? I think I should care. Okay, I'll care. But they don't have a black flash, so I don't have to have a black flash. That's fine. Mm, who am I putting in? Who am I putting in? I don't know. Let me hurry up. You know what? Now I'll put in. Yeah, but if I put in Terra, then there's no point in me having in Green Lantern Hell Jordan, so I'll take him out. And you know what? I'll put in Red Hood because I've loved using Red Hood lately. So let me put him in. Hurry this up and then I'll be finished. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. Problems? I'm asking you. <laughs> oh. Doggy bed. That's the rustling you hear in the background. It's the doggy bed. Okay, so, oh, I should have been worried apparently. Let's go ahead and exit out of this, try to run it, and then be done. Retreat. I should have been worried. Should have had a taunter. Got cocky. Definitely got cocky. Hey, you. Oh, can you guys even focus with me having all these things running around? All right, so. Oh, and lick to the nose. She likes my nose. She likes my nose. This is the same guy who was like, I prefer big dogs. Yeah. Love you too. Love you too. I prefer big dogs as I have this one looking on my face. And I say that as if, no, no. She's mine. I love her. So, yep, there's that nose. There's the nose. So, here we go. You're saying hi to everybody? Oh, that's her new carrying case. All right. All right, all right. Let me stop being distracted for a second. All right. Let me tighten this up. So, in case you guys are wondering, I drop DC Legends videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Ray Shadow Legends videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Marvel Future Revolutions videos intermittently. So, please, please like, please subscribe. And if you don't like it, hit subscribe and hit dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Now, let's go ahead and we have the taunter up. So, this way... Harley, she still did it. She still did it. Absolutely. So the elimination of her is going to have to be a priority. And I think I have one chance left. So now I can't really screw around. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? I can't screw around. All right, so no screwing around. Here we go, last shot. Last chance. Here, itchy nose. Okay, so we will run you. I was really hoping that Spectre would do something about the speed meta, but apparently Harley Quinn is just still that obnoxious pain and I wanna hit her as hard as possible. So maybe I should keep them in. Yeah. And then there, of course, we're gonna have the issue with Power Girl. Let's see how that goes, because I do have one awareness, so that first whip crack should be okay. So. There we go. <laughs> All right, so the first whip crack will probably be okay. Why did, why oh why did, oh no, that makes sense, that does make sense, Never mind. Let's go ahead and do this. That works as well. Mm. So in conclusion, he's definitely got tier. He's already the tune of the month 
the the best thing to come out he's number one like without me having to do any further analysis it's not necessary if you guys have not seen it by this point then you'll never see it oh my goodness and so forgive me for not being able to run this team well enough i should have come out way 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 more aggressively but in any case thank you guys for watching all the way through also so you guys know if you made our way to this point down in the, in the description below i've put about five movies that i love dc legends animated movies down there i would rate them for you honestly um there's a couple that i haven't seen just to be clear, the five movies below are ones that I have seen. There are three that I haven't seen that I really, really, really want to watch. So I haven't added them. They're new releases. So as soon as I watch them, if I find them worthy enough, then I'll put them in the description section in future videos. Yeah, so click on those links. That'll give me some commission. That'll help keep this channel going. As you can see, there's a whole lot going on. So any little bit would be helpful. You have Justice League Dark. Uh, you have Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. I'm giving that like an eight out of ten. I had to, to to put it out here. And there's like three movies I haven't had a chance to watch yet. So one of these days I'm gonna have to put everyone to sleep early and watch those movies myself. But Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. That's a link down there below that you can rent, download, whatever. Buy. Eight out of ten. Uh, the Death and Return of Superman. I gave it a seven out of ten, and that might have been generous. That one wasn't that great. I should probably remove it. Like I'm only gonna put up movies that I really really like. Uh, Batman Assault on Arkham, I'll get that a 9 out of 10. Son of Batman, 7. 7? Yeah, 7. Flashpoint Paradox, 10 out of 10. That's one of the best. And then The Dark Knight Returns, 10 out of 10. One of the best. I love it. I might actually even do a video reviewing like all of these things one day. But we'll see. In any case, please click those links. Download, buy if you don't already have them. Rent, whatever. That'll help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. And I'll see you next time.